Paula Ward and this is Easy Knitting Design. This video is part two of back neck shaping. Okay, let's fill in Nikki's numbers now. First, we want to know when to start the back neck shaping. Well, let's figure out the back neck depth. I want to make the neck on Nikki's sweater about a half an inch deep plus the one inch of ribbing on it. So I have a half an inch plus one inch of ribbing. So I'm going to have a back neck depth of one and a half inches. Now I can go to the measurements chart and see that the top neck to underarm yarn is eight inches. So I'm going to subtract one and a half from eight to get six and a half inches. So I will work six and a half inches from the underarm yarn before I start the back neck shaping. So, so we can fill in that first number now. Now let's figure out number three, the number of neck edge decreases. Well, we know we've got an inch and a half in our neck depth. Now we're going to take that inch and a half and multiply it by our row gauge of six and a half rows per inch to get the number of rows in that depth. Now that comes out to nine and three quarters and we want to round that to the nearest even number so we're going to make that ten rows in our neck depth. Ten rows also means a total of ten decrease stitches on our neck edge and we take the ten divide it by two and get five decrease stitches per neck edge. So now we can fill in number three, decrease each neck edge on the knit rows five times. Now let's go back to number two and figure out the number of center stitches to put on the holder. Well, I've counted the stitches in the front of Nikki's sweater on the shoulders, just to double check, and I have 10 stitches on each shoulder. I have 68 stitches in my back yoke, which is the back of the sweater after the armhole shaping. 68 minus the 20 stitches from the shoulders, 10 plus 10, gives me 48. So I know I have 48 stitches in my neck opening. Now, five of those stitches will be used up on each side by the neck edge decreases. So the 48 minus the 5 plus 5, that's 10, remember our 10 neck edge decreases, gives me 38 stitches to, in the center to put on a stitch holder. So now I can fill in number two on the next knit row place 38 stitches on a holder. Okay, number four, we know what our short row shaping is on the shoulders from the front of our sweater. We worked two short rows of three stitches each starting four stitches from the edge. So we know that already. What we want to know is when we start our short row shaping. We know we have five decrease stitches on each neck edge. We've got two short rows. We'll add one, subtract it from our five decreases and get two. So we will start our short rows on the second decrease row. We've filled in all our blanks. It's time to do the knitting on Nikki's sweater. I hope you've enjoyed my videos. Don't worry about taking notes. I've put the entire system into an ebook available at knitsweaterpattern.com. In part three, we'll knit the back neck of Nikki's sweater.